under mass surveillance. It is critical that policymakers recognize that the laws of parliaments are necessarily subordinate to the physical laws of the universe itself. And if issues of liberty and human rights in the digital sphere are left to technologists to address rather than elected bodies, governments are very likely to irrevocably lose some portion of their authority to interfere with the communications of legitimate targets. To illustrate, I would want to state with respect, I'd like to correct the record on a point in the committee's introductory memorandum regarding the strength of encryption used today. Contrary to a point asserted in that memo, there are in fact today encryption schemes that are not susceptible to any realistic brute force attacks on any time scale. And I can confirm that this remains true even at the forefront of the classified state of the art. Properly implemented modern encryption algorithms backed by truly random keys of significant length can require the application of more energy to cryptanalyze or basically to derive the solution to encrypt than exists in the known universe. For example, if today we dedicated every supercomputer, every desktop computer, every smartphone on the planet to brute forcing a single 256-bit key space of this type, our sun, the sun in our solar system will literally stop burning and we'll be sitting around in the dark before we actually solve the problem and have enumerated all the possibilities within that mathematical space. To quote Bruce Schneier, who I'll point out is one of the world's foremost cryptographers, who actually wrote the book on applied cryptography, quote, we cannot even imagine a world where a 256-bit brute force search is possible. It requires some fundamental breakthroughs in our physics and our understanding of the universe, end quote. The 256-bit keys that he discusses are incredibly common today. Anyone in this room can learn how to encrypt everything on their computer, on their hard drive, with this sort of functionally unbreakable code in the academic world.